vintage neighbors welcome to the vintage girl next door my name is Lacey and today's video is all about slang so I don't know about you guys but lately especially I feel like I keep hearing all of these words all of these slang words and to be honest I haven't known what a lot of them meant and so that's where my son comes in pretty handy. He gives me all the info on what these words mean. So I had an idea to do a fun little video comparing 1950s slang with the slang words of today. I'm gonna go through some popular slang terms from the 1950s and what they mean and compare them to our modern day equivalent if there is one. A special thank you to my son for helping me with the modern day slang terms and thinking of them and what they mean. He was a great help and helped me write them down and he kind of inspired the idea for this video. So thank you, Connor. If you're excited for this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Do you use slang in your day to day speech? I feel like most of us do. That's, I mean, in some capacity. So let's look at some common slang terms from the 1950s and see how they stack up against modern day slang. Okay, all you cool cats and kittens, let's get ready to hear some slang. First word, 1950s slang for car. So there's a bunch. So we have a rod, wheels, your chariot, your machine, a hottie is a fast car. There's also rag top, that means convertible, or a flip top, that means convertible. Modern day equivalent slang for the word car, a whip. I don't know, you guys. A whip or a sick whip. <laughs> I don't know where these things come from. Anyway. Okay, next word, 1950s slang for money. We have, for a dollar bill, a Washington, dough, bread, long green, and loose change is nuggets. Modern day slang for money, we have bands, fat stacks, racks. 50 slang words for guy or girl, we have daddy-o, queen, and then a handsome man, a good looking guy or girl, we have dreamy or a dream boat. For a girl, we have dolly, or there's always the word hep, H-E-P. You can put that in front of like a hep cat or something like that, like a cool guy. And if you call a girl a kitten, that's like a young girl, like inexperienced or young that kind of a thing. So I didn't really know for modern equivalent, um, there is the word swankin', which means like cool. So you could say that. <laughs> However, there is the modern day word thick, triple C thick, which is describing like an, an ideal body or like a nice looking body or something like that. So 50s equivalent for that maybe could be stacked. If the girl is stacked, she has a, a she's well endowed. <laughs> so if we're trying to say something is great or awesome in the 1950s, you could say it is the most or tops. Isn't it just the most? Isn't he the most? Or that girl is tops. Modern day equivalent, something great could say it slaps or you could say it's fire or it's straight fire that dress on you straight fire <laughs> also going along with the comments about guys and girls we have thirsty for modern day or a thirst trap which could be like a sexy photo or like a flirty comment or something like that is a thirst trap Okay, if you are in the 50s, you're trying to say something is surprising, something is outrageous, something is scandalous maybe, then you would say something is the living end. Modern day equivalent, apparently this one is already starting to be old news, but 
if you're shook, then you are emotionally affected by something. Something is outrageous or surprising to you, you're shook. Good music in the 50s could be called rockin', or music in general was called sounds. Modern day equivalent, a good song is called a bop, which actually kind of does sound 50s to me. I like it. <laughs> 1950 slang for lying. I had never actually heard this one before. Lighting up the tilt sign. Let me know if you know where that one comes from. I did not look much into it, but slang for lying in the 50s, lighting up the tilt sign, or a lie could be called shuck, or if you were a liar, you're a shuckster. And modern equivalent for lying, cap, or cappin, if you're lying. <laughs> or no cap, if you're telling the truth. This one kind of goes along with the lying, lying or liar like the shuckster. How about sus for the modern day equivalent? Guy is a little sus, acting a little sus, means suspicious folks you know i had to throw this in slang for a hot dog 1950s wiener or weenie modern day equivalent the glizzy <laughs> i don't know if you're wrong about something in the 50s it could be said you're barking up the wrong tree wrong about something modern times you're tripping some of these I didn't find a modern equivalent for, but I thought they were still really fun. So one of those 50 slang terms is Antsville, which means a crowded place. I like it, that's a fun one. Another 50s one that I thought was really fun means a great thing or a great place, it's Fat City. Also another fun one, backseat bingo. You guessed it, that means making out in the backseat of a car. <laughs> There's also the wonderful modern day term of flex, which is basically like you're showing off. Big flex would be like an expensive car and that's your big flex, something like that. 1950s slang for fist in the face, you get in a knuckle sandwich, buddy. Another fun 50s term for the coolest or cool is ginchy. The ginchiest is the coolest. That's a, that one's odd, but it came up on a lot of lists that I found of 1950s popular slang. So, the ginchiest. Another modern day one, low key, like kind of like discreetly or secretly, like you're low key attracted to this thing or this person. Another fun 50s expression is cooking with gas. Meaning like now you're on to something or now you're doing something right or doing something in the best way. You're cooking with gas. All right, that's the list I came up with. What do you guys think? Do you use any of those slang terms, either modern or 1950s slang? Do you use them day to day? I feel like we all do to some extent. Tell me what you think in the comments. What are some of your favorite slang terms, either 50s or modern? I'd love to hear. And also, if there's any that I missed, I'm sure there is, there's so many different words to use for slang, but if there's any I missed that you feel like I need to know, drop them in the comments, I would love to see. And I always love to hear from my vintage neighbors. Thanks again for watching, and if you are new here and you have not subscribed already, please do so. We would love to have you stick around the vintage neighborhood for more of our vintage fun. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are feeling loved and feeling safe. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.